Hi, what is up guys and welcome back. I just finished filming a wade video and then immediately after that I headed over to the beachfront because I had like four shrimp left. I'm about to try to film a whiting video and check it out. I didn't even have the camera going but like my second cast, or not my second cast, but like my second fish was a nice whiting right here. First one was a hard head, not the best. And I got worried so I didn't even put the camera on and then that thing came out. So I'm about to strap the GoPro on and see what we can get into. Like I said, I have about four shrimp but I'm cutting them up super small so that should give me like 10 to 12 baits. Hopefully that's like 10 to 12 fish. Stay tuned guys, let's see what happens. All right, well I just caught a monster hard head over here. I guess it's just gonna be a battle today, whatever can get their first hard head or riding. We're gonna let this guy go, cast back out. Perfect cast. I could have sworn I just had a bite right here. My line went super slack. But there's nothing on here. So I'm gonna reel it in. Check the bait once more for like the 10th time. Yep, took my bait right here. Definitely had a bite. Cut up another piece of shrimp. Let's see what happens. Got another little bitty piece of shrimp right here. I'm gonna loop him around. Try to bury that hook around there. So if they bite it, they kind of have to get the hook. Send her back out. I'm getting bit right now. I don't know if I got him or not. If I do, he's super small, but well, I feel like I did. Seems like a small fish. I can see a bunch of seaweed on my line, so I don't even know. Might not be anything here. Now there's some fish surfing in under that seaweed. Looks like a little whiting. Yep, little one. Well, that's what we're after, but we're after his big brother. You wanna hook this thing? Get back in, and then we only have like four or five pieces of shrimp left. So hopefully we can get. Oop! Hopefully we can get a keeper. My right, next piece going out is a piece of tail. Usually not my favorite piece, but they do stay on the hook the best. I just got bit on the tail right here. And it's funny because I was about to reel it up and say that the tail didn't produce anything, but I just got bit. Although I think it somehow managed to take it, the bait, without getting hooked. That's all right, we got a few more. Let's see. Yep, bait's gone. But at least there's no seaweed on this time, so. I don't feel good about this piece of shrimp. Perfect size. Everything about it is good. I'm gonna send this one out super far. Yep, that was a rocket. Boom, perfect. Let's see how long this one takes to get bit. Oh, we just got bit. Super slack line here. There's definitely gonna be a fish on this. Oh, maybe not. That was definitely 100% a bite. The line went completely slack, but I don't get it. They're taking my bait. Oh, I was excited too. Yep, gotta get another piece. And we're getting down to the wire here. We got just a few more pieces left.
Oh, there's a fish. Stay on, stay on. Is he off? No, he's on. He's on. We got him. Doesn't feel too big, but doesn't feel too little. Shaking its head a lot like a whiting would. But also hard heads are not much different from that. Just hope it's a good whiting. Fingers crossed here. I'm about to find out, he's getting close. It's a hard head. Unfortunately, not at all what we want. Oh man. Still a bite though, still a bite. Rebaiting again. And I'm thinking with all these hard heads out here, one day we're gonna have to do a hard head catch and cook. I don't know why we wouldn't. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever eaten hard head. That'd be interesting to see. All right, this is one of my last pieces of shrimp, as y'all can see. This little thing right here, and then I have a couple tails and heads, which I'm not gonna use. Let's just hope, let's hope, let's just really hope right now that we get a good riding. They're out there. I know they're out there because I've already caught one. One good one and two smaller ones. I'll just be the cast. Not my best cast. It's probably my shortest cast yet, but hey, maybe that's where they are. Just got bit. Don't think I have them though. I'm pretty sure I missed them. Maybe I'll have my bait and I can cast it back out. We're about to see. I do have my bait, haha. -ha. I'm baiting a little bit of seaweed. It's always fun. Okay, make sure it's hooked good so it's not gonna fall off. Feels all right to me. Let's chunk her out. Nice car trap. Is he still on here? I don't think so. Man, what the heck? I didn't even have time to go. I turned around and walked back to the car. And whenever I looked back this way, the line was completely slack. I don't think, well, I think there's a fish on here. Yeah, there is, there's something little. Is that a little catfish jumping for us? I don't know. It's a whiting, super tiny. Another little guy, I know that's probably not focused, but another whiting, too small. All right, this right here is gonna be my last piece of bait. I put two tails on this one. We're gonna walk out a little bit, like, I don't know, 10 yards so I can get it 10 yards farther. Here looks good. We're just gonna chunk it. Yep. Perfect. All right, that's the last cast. Let's hope we get something good. Well, this is my last cast right here, guys. The last two pieces of bait I have. If I catch some on this, I'll show it to y'all. But if not, I'll see y'all back at the house and hook up this wire. So stay tuned to see what dish this fish turns into. What's up, y'all? We are back at the house now, as y'all can tell. And I got this one whiting that I caught the other day and I'm about to throw it on the grill here. So I know y'all didn't see me catch this thing, but you're just gonna have to believe me because I have this bad tendency of not putting on the GoPro whenever I start fishing. I only put it on once I start catching stuff. And on this day, I ended up casting out, catching a hardhead was the first fish. And I did not feel like putting the GoPro on just to record like a hundred hardhead being caught. But then on the second cast, I ended up catching this nice whiting. So we're about to throw it on the grill. And what we're gonna be doing for this one is smoking it instead of just grilling it. So I have it soaking in a brine right here. As you can see, it's just water, brown sugar, and salt. And then once this grill gets going, and once the smoke starts to pour out of it, then we're gonna lay it on and get it going. It shouldn't take too long, maybe around 20 minutes, and it should be done. Well, it's smoking pretty good now. We're gonna open it up. Yep, and I'd say it's ready. So we're gonna take our fish out of the brine. And all I did to this fish was super simple. I left the scales on, and I just cut it right down the middle, pulled the guts out, pulled the gills out, and we're just gonna do whole smoked here. So we're about to lay it on. 
As you can see, we put our wood chips on the left side right on top of the coals. We're going to lay this on the right side because we don't want to put it directly over the heat because that would just be grilling and, and we want to get a good smoke on this. We're going to close the grill, let this go for a little while, and we'll check on it in about 10-15 minutes. Well, it's gotten dark on us. I got the phone light right here, but it's been about 25 minutes and I believe the fish is done. Oh yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that, but come take a look. Nice and smoky. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. Oh yeah, oh, the head fell off. All right. Well, I'm gonna continue to get these little pieces off the grill and then we'll see you all inside to show you how it looks. So it looks super smoky right here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the skin off. Like I said, I did not scale it before. because I just figured once we got it cooked, I could just go and peel it off just like that. And now the only thing that I'm worried about is that usually whenever I would smoke a fish, I would fillet it out and then lay the skin side down and that would get the meat nice and smoky. So I'm hoping that leaving the skin on didn't take all the smokiness out of the meat. All right, we're gonna give it a little taste right here. We pulled a piece off, there it is. Now let's try it out. So it's super good. It's not as smoky as I would like. Next time I'm definitely going to flay it out like I just told y'all instead of leaving the skin on. But I wanted to try something new. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to take the skin off. We're going to pull the meat off the bones and then we're going to serve it up. You could just eat this how it is and just pick it away. Or you could put it into a fish dip which is what we've done before. But today I'm going to do something just a little bit different so stay tuned. Well I picked off about half of our fish right here. We got it in a little bowl. And we're just going to go super simple today. So we're just going to take our fish. I like the taste of this smoked fish, so I don't feel the need to make it into some dish or anything like that, although it would be good if fish did, but we're going to take a little bit of our fish like that, and then we're going to go with this mustard right here. This is not just like normal yellow mustard, this is honey hot, so a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness there. We're going to take a dip of that, put it on quite a bit. I like this stuff a lot. Now we're going to give it a taste, but first I'll check that out. Super simple guys, a cracker and some fish on it with some mustard, you can't go wrong. Wow, that is super good right there. I'm gonna make up about four or five more of these and then just basically demolish the rest of this fish because it's really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below and tell me some recipes guys because I'm running out over here. I mean, as y'all can see, I'm just doing a piece of fish on a cracker. So tell me a good recipe to try down in the comments below and then subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much. Until next time, peace.